Hi everyone, I'm Watson. This video, I'm going to tell you guys how to set up an IP security camera system with an NVR and get internet access. So you can see in front of me here, I have two IP cameras connected to an unmanaged POE switch and the unmanaged POE switch is connected to our NVR. This means right now, this whole system is a commonly seen IP security camera system. And usually when we want to access the cameras, we, all, we always go to this NVR and basically we get our real-time video footage from the NVR. Now let me show you guys the video footage on the screen. Okay, now you can see there is a real-time video footage on our screen. This means this, these cameras are connected to the PoE switch. They've gathered, the PoE switch has gathered their data and then sent to our NVR. So this is like an inline closed circuit security camera system. So how do we do it to make it online? Well, it's pretty easy. So remember that we have two uplink ports on our PoE switch. And to get it online, we're gonna need something called a router. A router is a device that will help us redirect the data it has, the PoE switch has received and send it to the internet. The router is usually, that's what it does. That's why it is a home-based device to let us connect to the internet. So once we have this router, it's really easy. We just use an ethernet cable and connect it to our uplink port. Remember the uplink port is specially designed to transmit data only. It doesn't have PoE features, but it has extremely high bandwidth. So when it transmits the data to our devices, the bandwidth will be around megabits per second a thousand megabits per second, so it's really high and it's really good to let us transmit data only. So now we have the router connected to the sampling port. The whole system works as the cameras, the IP devices, will transmit the data back to our PoE switch, which acts as an exchange data exchange center. Once it gets its data, it will pack it up and send it to two routes. One route will go to the NVR, it will show us on the monitor and record it down on the hard disk drive if we have and if we want to. And the other route will go directed to our router. The router will send it to the online network and whatever we want to access it online, that will be able to do it. So that's basically how it works. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.